sort of a, a big, big thought question. Okay. What is the connection between your curriculum and the passing of the Sora from one generation to the next? Usually you envision passing the Sora as the idea of Chumash, of the law, of other things that connect to that. And this is not exactly that kind of piece. So please explain to me the connection between this and the passing of Masora from one generation to another. We so both can do it, but we'll give the rabbi an opportunity for Masora. Uh, you know, I, I think um, recognizing your connection with Hashem is 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 seen when you dive in, when you learn Chumash, Navi, and Gemara. You see you see the, the words of the Torah. But to have a personal experience, we always, you know, when I was in yeshiva, they talked about there's you, you're 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 a daven or you're a learner. Are you uh, you are you one of those? Or are you one of those? And uh, I'd start thinking, am I am I am I one of those? And I said said maybe maybe I'm the davener, uh, but uh, or maybe the learner. And I and I realized that you know there there it's like a, it's 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 both. It, and and you need to have a very strong personal connection with Hashem that's not necessarily so obvious in the text. Uh, sometimes, sometimes you do feel it when you're learning, but sometimes you don't, and, and it's very important. Davening is three times a day, and why do we have it three times a day? Because you constantly need to recognize tefillah. We have the um, we have Misila um, Yisharim, and Misila Yisharim talks about uh, how I'm not telling you anything new in this in, in this sefer. I, I'm just telling you things that you already know. We need to constantly remind ourselves to do good. We need to constantly remind ourselves to check in with Hashem three times a day. So if kids are just checking in by being there and it becomes a negative experience, they're gonna want it less and less, and they're kind of pushing themselves away. So it's essential that students start thinking about these I'm things. I'm a pragmatist. My Masora will be that I will model for my students who will model for their children what kavana and what really an attachment to davening really is, in shul or in school. I'm like out of breath. I don't know about you guys. We're excited. You're excited. So it, it is, it definitely sounds exciting. It just sounds like it's a 50 year project rather than, I don't know. It, it's a lifelong proce project. Uh, it, this, the, the thing with this is that we want the kids to start thinking of this. Sorry, did I cut you off? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll just, I'm I, sorry. I guess I'll just sharpen it. it, it ju I, I guess it just seems like a lot. Uh, to, you know, like, I feel like the proposal. It did mention the, the the curriculum, but it was sort of I think more about the about the um, the digital sidur, and I just feel like I there are, I just feel like you 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 had so many things you want to accomplish, which which is admirable, but you know can tafasta marubalo lo tafasta. Sorry, that's a question. Okay. Tafasta marubalo tafasta. You know, can you? <laughs> That, I, 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 good. Can, you, sorry, can, you, sorry, okay. can you accomplish all of, okay. all of this? I'm a dreamer, and I believe that you can accomplish anything you set your mind to do, but you have to begin somewhere. This is a beginning. I hope to God that in 50 years we will have made this change. Our goal is to change the culture of what is disastrous. And, and the idea is, is that this we're just changing the paradigm paradigm, the way the kids think about the Sidur. And we just want to start making them think that way. And the idea is, is that as we bring them and uh, lead them off in eighth grade, they'll, they'll know that the Sidur is a lifelong book and words that, that are, are meant to constantly work on and, and get closer to Hashem. We're not explaining every word of tefillah. And I personally don't know every word of tefillah. Um, but if I had a, a, some type of experience like this, I would recognize the tool. I would understand what this, what this, what this, what davening is, and and why it's important to me. And I'll, and I'll, and I'll, is, if I understood at a young age, I probably wouldn't have yeah. struggles like I do now in understanding the words, and because I'd be more interested in it. Michael, without the curriculum, the tool is meaningless. We need the curriculum and the teaching, and yes, it's a tremendous goal here, but without the teaching tool, then the tablet is meaningless. And so it, the tablet is simply the vehicle to achieve what we hope to do, which is making tefillah really significant in everybody's life. We can trade, if you like. <laughs> okay. Uh, so just as a follow-up to that question, can you say a little bit more about where the time is coming from for the teacher meetings, the teacher, men the mentor-mentee meetings, the, the, uh, curricula the, this, the course, 
Excellent like, what question. What is going away? Like, what are you replacing? So, okay. Um, Good question. Uh, uh, so, in terms of in terms of how it's working, we're going to be having with the mentors. Let's start with the mentors. We have that already in um, place. Once every two weeks, they'll be meeting with the mentors. Now, sometimes during the curriculum, it's going to be it's be important for the mentors to work on the digital sitter with the student. But most of the time, what the mentors are going to be doing, we're going to give them pointed questions. And those questions uh, are going to start a conversation, sometimes in a group, because each teacher is going to have about two to three students. And sometimes it'll be a group, sometimes it'll be one-on-one, -on -one, and asking them questions based on the curriculum. And this is to measure what's going on, to understand that, the, that it's meaningful, or to understand that maybe that, that class was for, those, for that student, it was, just, it was, it was nothing. And that's set aside. Um, in terms of the actual class, it's going to be once a week. We have it on Wednesday set aside. Um, and we, uh, yeah, go ahead. The mentor meetings are already in place. We're just using it for this purpose. The mentorship meetings with the students we have also scheduled. And, and we the have, class is once a week. And we already have a class set aside uh, for sixth grade um, um, that, uh, that actually kind of changes every year. And we're planning on using that time that period time for period. that. time period. So it's not uh, replacing anything, but it's showing the kids, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, that tefillah is very important. Um, thank you. And just a final question. So is there any change? You mentioned something about what's going to happen during actual tefillah. Like, is it going to become more flexible if a kid wants to spend, they suddenly they connect it to some tefillah and they want to spend more time on that and not on something else? Or is the actual tefillah going to be the same and they're just going to have their digital I mean, we'll, 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 we'll see how it goes as, as we go through the year. Um, we, we would love for students to have a longer shmon esres and therefore longer davening. <laughs> Um, uh, I remember I was in YU, and uh, Rob Goldwicht uh, told us, uh, um, if you're in the middle of Shmon Ezra and you're trying to get to your Chavruta time, you have to finish. So if they, are, if they need a little more time with davening, I'm sure to talk to Rabbi Besser, and we'll, we'll find more time. <laughs> I have no not, problem. I mean, that's our goal. We're not but, changing but, the uh, Nusach. <laughs> we are having oh. a Dod HaMizrach Nusach. Oh. And we Ashkenazi, because we do we have, have both. We have a very strong, uh, we have a Sparty uh, uh, group of students that come into our school. We actually had now, in our We're not changing this year, we have a once liturgy. a week Chila of Sparty. That's so, set. So, yeah. I mean, that, yeah. But, but to, to your point, though, that, that that's a good point. That, that's a very good, yeah, that's a very good question. I'm wondering. We hear you. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering as the students are focusing on a particular aspect of tefillah, would the actual, what takes place during davening time, shift? So the only thing, so that what's going to shift in the class is that the students are going to have time to, we wanted to make this, they used the word co-authorship before, we wanted the kids to really be part of this process, because obviously we could give them topics that they care about, but if they're part of the process, they'll care about it even more. So the students will not only, the, with the classes, they're gonna, like we said earlier, they're going to be part of the trigger and, and they're going to be involved in the session. But the actual tefillah, they're going to be sharing some of the things that they feel are important. So let's say we had a, we had a discussion about Shema. Um, so right, right, maybe right before Baruch we'll have we'll put something on the board showing, uh, showing something that the kids uh, that found meaningful. Or they might give a very quick Torah or maybe after Asher, and we'll find the appropriate time for them to, to, to say something. But every day we would like for the student to share a little piece. That's really the main uh, difference in tefillah, and obviously uh, three or four days a week where they're going to be diving from the device. I have a personal tefillah, l'chayalim, because I have family that are in l'chayalim currently. So we all, everybody laughs at me. Yeah, so everybody laughs at me. My davening, initially, we're davening for Sidur Bensi. I'm sorry, I told him I'd give him a plug, who's outside Aza now. So that's my thinking when I'm davening, and this is what the dialogue we want to create. So my kavana will be there, and please God, the children will have kavana, so you don't see what we see and on a daily and basis. We and we sat down <laughs> to, to come up with this, you know, JEIC challenged us to do, you know, Something that, that exists, a problem, davening. Oh boy. That exists throughout, we all know about in all the schools. Davening is an issue, especially with middle schoolers and high schoolers. We, Across we having, the board. We're having trouble and, and we just think from a student's perspective. How do they make it, how do they want it, how, how, would, they, how would they even connect to davening? Oh, they make it about things that it they think about. It has to be about. personalized. Oh, they're involved and they want it. The kids love to present. The kids love to be part of the process. Right. They, they could teach par, uh, a tefillah. They could discuss with people that have a strong understanding of the tefillah and, and present something relevant to the rest of their students. And that, that's how this came about. And, and now we, we really feel that the kids will, will, will gain something. Make a difference. And they'll think about it years later. The, digi the digital sidor at the end will include only that one student's 
work no, or every some student, of the other every every student, every student, every, every student, student is going to receive. A, you're talking about the hard CDU that they received at the end of the year. Both. Oh, the the personal. Every kid is creating a personal device. And that right? just belongs to them. That's correct. It, that's them. Correct. So and and the A will not he have something. No, because no, no, I don't no, want to no. share every, my thoughts every, with every you. Every student is going to have it. I mean, I actually have. I'm not uh, sharing my thoughts with him. No, the hard copy is personalized. This is the device that we plan on using. I, I didn't get a chance to show. Um, and it's locked down, so no matter what you do to it, Once uh, it's done, it's locked. You can't really get out of it. So we were, we were concerned about the distraction uh, aspect also of a device. Um, and we spent a lot of time because it really is very important to us. Um, and, and we do help want the students to transition. So we're going to have once a week or twice a week where the kids are going to dive from a C-Dur. And they're going to put little post-it notes of where they worked on that tefillah. So let's say that week was Sim Shalom, they're gonna have a little post-it note. Of and we're gonna tell the kids to imagine, what remember here. what you wrote in the Siddur. We right. want them to transfer it over to Shabbat when they can't use the devices and other times in their I lives. I remember the heart. <laughs> Sorry. You just mentioned a little bit about distraction. Just from a cognitive point of view, um, initially when they have these new ideas or their work on the side of the page, it will be distracting. After some time and there's some habituation, the saliency will will go down, and therefore they will be entirely ignoring it. That's the process cognitively. Second of all, how much about of this is about social emotional development, and how much about it is to feel it? It sounds from the sounds of the presentation, this is more about social emotional development oh. that you're wow. able to hang on a particular subject or something that we do on a daily basis versus the actual development of this, this good personalization question. of the field. Good question. question. The, 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 the social emotional piece is the way to get the kids to care more about Tvila and recognize that it could be a personal device and you know a, a personal um, um, Tvila and, and, and make it more meaningful. We, we by Sorry, you want to I can't that. dive in today because I had a friend. I had an argument with my friend last night, and I'm coming in. I, I just can't connect. Therefore, if we're taught how to connect and take away the negative thoughts and look to this tefillah that makes me feel better today, I'm going to have a better day because Hashem and, is going to help me. And to piggyback on Judy, you know, we deal with things on a daily basis, and and kids, if they think about tefillah as only what happened thousands of years ago and, and praying for everybody else, yeah, just interesting. They're, they're not going to recognize that not one all. of the things that you're doing is talking to Hashem about not all. you, and you want them to gain that connection. The social-emotional piece is that way to make it Kids. personal in order to get them to start recognizing the, the whole picture. It's not only about social-emotional. Not it's, all. It's the start. There are the that few your who are connected. Is it a bad thing? Do you think it's a bad thing if it's about social-emotional no, learning no, and the tefillah is like no, a, no, sort of intertwined with it? Well, we, we look at it as, as, as we the look at as two as the beginning of the self-discovery, right? And and moving forward to a journey, all and of then to God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then we connect to Hashem. You you had talked briefly about this, but it, in understanding the way that a sitor is constructed, I mean things that are sort of classic, like we are to feel a lot kind of things. Um, the, the question that, that, that those things are easy to test for. The question that I'm asking in this is, how do you test for kavana? <laughs> um, and I ran out of time, so you guys get off the hook. It's a very good question. I mean, very we, good okay. question. Do you want us to address? I mean, no, we'll talk to you that. later. Thank you very much. <laughs>